Okay, hello Cloud Gurus and welcome to AWS This Week. We've got loads of awesome announcements this week, including that you can now trigger Lambda functions using SQS. Amazon Linux 2 is now in general availability. Amazon Linux workspaces are now also available. EBS Elastic Volumes now include EBS Magnetic Volumes, and we announce the winner of Guru of the Week. I'm Ryan Krunenberg, and you're watching AWS This Week. So you can now trigger Lambda functions using SQS. And for those of you that can't remember, Lambda is a compute service that allows you to run your code in the cloud without provisioning any servers. Whereas SQS is the very first service that AWS launched, and it's a fully managed message queuing service, allowing you to send messages between components of your application. So you can now configure Lambda to consume and process the messages in your SQS queue, and then delete the messages from the queue once it has been successfully processed. So Amazon Linux 2 is now in general availability, and this is the next generation Linux operating system from AWS. And it features the latest innovations from the Linux community, including the latest security fixes and kernel tuning for enhanced performance on EC2, as well as extra repositories and additional supported packages like Python, Ruby, and Go. So also released this week was Amazon Linux Workspaces, and they're now generally available. And Workspaces is a secure cloud-based virtual desktop solution, which allows you to provision either Windows or Linux desktops to all users across the world in just a few minutes. And this is going to be really great for development teams in particular, because you'll be able to provision Workspaces, including all the tools that your devs need to build their applications, and enable access to Workspaces using a bring your own device model. So EBS Elastic Volumes now include EBS Magnetic Volumes. So what does this mean? Well, this means that you can now dynamically increase the capacity or change the type of your magnetic volume with zero downtime or performance impact. You can configure your volume manually using the console or API, or you can even automate the whole process by configuring a CloudWatt metric to trigger a Lambda function to do it for you. So on to the winner of Guru of the Week. And this week, the correct answer was A. And loads of you got it right, but the person with the best answer is Deval Josie. So Deval is a senior software developer in California. Congratulations, Deval. You can expect an A Cloud Guru t-shirt, sticker, and hand sign card out to you in the post. And you're also in the draw to win a free ticket to reInvent 2019. So please see the link below for this week's question, which is now live on our Facebook page. Well, that's it from me. Keep being awesome, Cloud Gurus, and I'll see you next week. Next week.